Why are we studying Revelation? Well, for many people, the Bible seems like a puzzle box. When I, when I travel, not like we are right now going overseas and we have very little space in our bags, I usually bring a jigsaw puzzle box. You all have had a jigsaw puzzle, right? You know what I'm talking about, the big box. You shake it, it's got all those pieces in it. What I usually do is I call up three or four of you students and you stand up here, I open the box without you seeing the cover, the picture, and have you take out a piece. And then I ask on the stage, I ask the first person, I say, what do you think the picture that the puzzle is gonna make is from your little piece? And most pieces are like a little bit of red or a little splash of gray or maybe it's green like it's grass. And they look at it and unless it's got like something identifiable, they go, I don't know. It's like gray. And this person will say, gray, my piece is brown. And the next one of the jigsaw says, well, my piece is white. It's clouds. And I say, well, how do you know what the puzzle is? And then I turn over the box and I show the cover. And once you see the big picture, all those individual 31,000 little pieces of your jigsaw puzzle make sense. The Bible sometimes seems like a box of 31,103 pieces. That's how many verses there are in the Bible. How do I teach the Bible? There are two methods, okay? The first method, and if you've gone to church very long, you've probably seen this, is called the textual method. And the person teaching speaks on one verse and only one verse, and they never go anywhere else, and they only talk about that verse, and they just stay in that verse, and that's a wonderful way to speak. But for many people, a lifetime diet of textual preaching that I'm only gonna be in Galatians 1, 1 through 6, and I never leave there. All of a sudden, that message becomes like a jigsaw puzzle piece because you don't know how all those anathemas against the unbelieving, you know, people that have gone away from the, the grace of the gospel fits in the big picture. The other way to teach, in fact, this is what I'll never forget. When I started on staff with Dr. John MacArthur, he said this. He said that you should learn to be an explanatory preacher. I said, expository? No, he said, explanatory. He said, you need to explain to people how that fits in the whole. And I used to listen to him. He would reference 50 to 100 different passages as he taught. And all of a sudden, you started sewing together the whole Bible. So when I look at, at any verse in the Bible, uh, it's all 31,000 verses of the Bible. In fact, I have a better picture than that. Every verse of the Bible has the weight of all 31,000 other verses, all 1,189 chapters, all 66 books pressing on it. You cannot pull any verse out without feeling the weight of all of it.